In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of installing Docker on your local machine. Whether you're just joining us or have been following our exploration of containers and Docker, we're excited to have you here at Head in the Clouds, your go-to destination for all things tech. If you haven't seen our previous video on getting started with Docker, we highly recommend checking it out. Let's kick off by talking about Docker editions. Docker comes in two flavors, community edition and enterprise edition. The community edition is free and perfect for individual developers and small teams. It provides essential features for building, testing, and deploying applications. On the other hand, Docker Enterprise Edition is a subscription-based offering for larger organizations with advanced container orchestration needs. It includes additional features like advanced security and integrated logging, tailored for enterprise-level deployments. When installing Docker Desktop, you're not only installing Docker itself, you're unlocking a suite of tools to enhance your development environment. Docker Desktop bundles powerful features to streamline your containerization journey, such as Docker Engine. It is a cool technology for creating and managing containers. Docker Compose. You can define and run multi-container applications using a YAML file. Docker CLI. It is a command line interface for interacting with Docker. Docker Dashboard. A visual interface for managing containers, images, networks, and volumes. And last but not least, integrated Kubernetes allowing you to easily orchestrate and scale your containerized applications. Okay, so first things first, let's go to our internet browser, which will be Firefox for us. So in here, we'll start by typing docs.docker.com, which will take us to the official Docker documentation page, where you'll be able to find all the necessary information about Docker itself. At the top bar here, you'll be able to find links such as guides, manuals, references, samples, and frequently asked questions. We highly recommend for you to check them out in free, your free time. And for the purposes of this video, we'll be focusing on downloading and installing Docker on your local machine. So we're we'll proceeding further by clicking on this link here. Now this page here is pretty much a summary of what Docker is. And if we start scrolling through the page itself, we'll be able to see the following section where it's explaining the best installation parts for you, depending on your operating system. As you can see, you can download and install Docker on multiple platforms, such as Mac, Windows, or Linux. For this exercise, we'll be focusing on Docker Desktop for Mac. This is the official installation page for Docker Desktop on Mac. It contains all the necessary download links, as well as information about system requirements and also instructions on how to install and run Docker Desktop on Mac. If you scroll all the way back up, in this section here, you'll be able to see two installers, one for Docker Desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon and the other one for Mac with Intel chip. If you're not sure which one you have, you can simply check this by going to your Apple logo, selecting about this Mac, and in here you'll be able to see all the information about your system. Under here, we can see that we've got Apple M1 chip on this particular laptop. So let's go back to our browser and go further through with the system requirements. As I have M1 chip here on this laptop, 
I'll be selecting this tab here, which is Mac with Apple Silicon. You can see that there are two important requirements that you need to fulfill before proceeding further with installation. The first one is to have a supported version of a Mac OS. And what does that exactly mean for us? As you can see here in this highlighted section, Docker supports Docker Desktop on the most recent versions of macOS, which is including the current release of macOS and the previous two releases, which is really important to note down. As new major versions of macOS are made generally available, Docker stops supporting the older versions and supports the newest version of macOS. So just keep that in mind. And the second one is that your system needs to have at least four gigabytes of RAM. So please make sure you have all of this ticked off before we proceed further with the installation processes. Okay, now that we've seen a summary of how to install Docker Desktop on Mac, and before we proceed further with the installation process, let's have a quick look on what happens if you're not running Mac OS and for example, you have either Windows or Linux. Well, the installation guide is pretty similar for those two as well. So if we go to installing Docker desktop on Windows, for example, we'll be able to see that this page contains similar information such as download URL, which can be found here, information about system requirements, as well as the instructions on how to run and install Docker on Windows. And if we go back one step, we can see the same in installing Docker desktop on Linux operating system, where we have all the information about system requirements, as well as all the important steps and installation processes on different operating systems on Linux as well. So if we're happy with that, let's go back to our Docker installation guide on Mac. And depending on your system, as we've seen before, we have an M1 chip laptop here. So we'll be selecting this link here, Docker desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon installer. So if you click on that, the download process will start automatically. It will probably take around one minute and 30 seconds to complete. So we will fast forward this until the end to save up some time. Great. Now that we have it downloaded on our local machine, let's double click on this file here, which is called docker.mg. And it will open this new window where we'll be able to drag and drop all the content from Docker into our applications folder. This process usually takes around 10 seconds or so to complete. So we'll just wait for that. Great. Now that's done, let's close this window and open our finder, applications and Docker. Docker is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. We agree with that. And as you can see in your doc, you'll be able to see that the Docker desktop is now running. And this is a small preview of all the settings and things that you can do, of course, with Docker desktop itself. If we go back to our Docker desktop in here, we'll be able to see some information in here at the bottom of the screen where it's showing the latest version of docker desktop that we're currently running on our machine as well as some other information about our ram cpu disk and also a suggestion to sign in to to connect to our docker hub so you can also see that from this notification section here where it's highly recommended to sign in to, to your accounts in order to save all the images and collaborate, of course, with your colleagues in the future. If we proceed further going through the containers, as it's just a fresh installer, we won't be able to see much in here as 
we haven't done uh, anything just yet and we also haven't linked our accounts to maybe see some of the previously created images or containers, volumes and so on. And to ensure that Docker is installed correctly, let's open up terminal on your local machine. If you're not sure how to do that, you can do space and command buttons together and search for item or terminal and start by typing docker hyphen hyphen version. Here we can see that we're running the latest version of Docker, which is 2406 something that we also were able to see in here in our Docker desktop. So it's matching, of course, the same versions. And as you're able to see the Docker information, uh, version information here, it's confirming that the Docker is successfully installed on our Mac. And now for a little bit of fun, let's run a Docker container on our local machine that will print out let's say a hello docker world message and to be able to do that we will run this command which is docker run hello world as we can see it's starting to look for the image called hello world latest locally as it's unable to find it it started pulling it from the library hello hyphen world and once the image is pulled, we can check by Docker images. We have the hello world now pulled on our local machine. And as we run the Docker run command, it's using this image to run the container. And you can see the status here, downloaded new version for hello world latest. Hello from Docker. This message here shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And there you have it you have successfully installed Docker on your macOS machine. In our next episodes, we're gearing up for a hands-on exploration of the essential skill of working with containers and Docker commands. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials.